All right, so let's take a look at how to start the rest of the fingers on this mitt. We've already done the pinky, and now it's time to do the ring finger, the middle finger, and the pointer finger. And it doesn't particularly matter which order you do them in. You can do them this way or this way. I'm going to start with the ring finger. And I'm going to show you how to do this. It's not complicated, but it's one of those things that's a lot easier to describe or to show on video than it is to describe in words. So for one thing, you'll see that the, the pinkies I've done with the same color as the last few rows of the hand. And now I need to, I want to make the ring finger a different color. Now, I had a little bit of gray left over. There was still some left after finishing the pinky in the hand. So I cut that off, and that's what I mean by preparing the yarn ball for the next step. And you can always use this as waste yarn for another project. I've cut that off, I'm going to set it aside, and now I'm at the beginning of the yellow, which is the next color in the sequence. So I'm going to use that to knit the ring finger. So now I just need to pick up the stitches for that. And this is exactly like picking up the stitches for the pinky, so if, if any of this goes by too fast, just take a look at that video first. So the first thing I want to do is it tells me to pick up a certain number of stitches on the front of the hand and on the back of the hand. For me, in my case, for the size I'm making, it's 10 stitches. So I'm just going to come here and pick up the first 10 stitches that are next to the pinky here. Just put them, slip them right onto the needle. You're not actually working them or anything, you're just slipping them on. So I've got two, four, six, eight, ten. Now, if you're using double pointed needles, you know, this would be a double pointed needle, you would just set it aside, flip the mitt over, and then pick up the rest of the stitches with another double pointed needle. And then you could redistribute them later so you could work them. If you're doing two circulars, slip these stitches down onto the cable, set this needle aside, come over here and pick up these 10 stitches with your other needle. I'm doing magic loop, so I'll do the same thing, kind of slip these onto the cable, and then just take the other end of that same needle and pull it through so that I can pick up these 10 stitches. So now I just want to count over two, four, six, eight, ten. There's that tenth stitch, so I'll start here. And work my way back toward the pinky. This can be a little bit fiddly. It's hard not to snag other pieces of yarn. And this last stitch often gets kind of sunken down into itself. Just use the waist yarn, pull up on the waist yarn, and it'll pull that stitch back up again so that you can grab it. There. So now we've got 20 stitches on the needles, and now I can pull that waist yarn out of those stitches that I put back on the needle. Easier to do if I've got it on the cable. So just grab that waist yarn right here at the beginning of where you picked up the stitches and pull the waist yarn out of them so we don't need it to hold the stitches anymore. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Like that. And now the rest of these stitches, of course, will be picked up later to do the middle finger and the pinky, and you'll do that, you'll set that up in exactly the same way that you just set up the ring finger. So now I just get ready to knit. Here's the last stitch that I picked up. So here's the first one I want to work. I look down, I see that there's a purl bump right here. That means I need to purl it to keep the pattern continuous. And I'll just pick up my yarn at the yellow and start working the finger. Like 
like so. And then you just work around and around until it's the right length and bind off.